have your own self-worth. And me, I can never be intimidated in my political life. Can never be intimidated. Because I've seen many people come and go. I've seen many powerful people come and go. I've seen presidents come here and go. I have seen people who, on their word, you would leave this house and you'd be locked in the same day. They have come and gone. I have seen very respected women in this country like Grace Onyango, who was in the committee for the, tri for the special investigations relating to the disappearance of uh, 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 J.M., yeah, yeah. And that led me, made me very proud because those days there were very few women. And she stood firm. She was required to change a report of the National Assembly. And she stood firm. So I, I want to plead with you. I want to plead with you. We got a heavy task. And if people out there feel you can be intimidated and you've been brought to this house with all the powers that we have, including the trial of a governor. Imagine next time that you may have a motion for the trial of, a, of the president. Will you be intimidated? So I, I, I urge you, for the future of this country, in the performance of your constitutional duties, never be intimidated. And, and, and if my day... If my day comes, if my day comes, I'll accept it. If my day comes, I'll accept it. But my conscience, the way I've been brought up, my conscience, I will never sell it. I will never.